Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how the last note I develop uh, works. Basically on my mobile robot prototype uh, I have an uh, AMU module connected to a thin CLC board which is uh, connected to the hub board where the ROS core uh, is running. Uh, my node, my ROS node, uh, performs uh, the auto calibration of the AMU uh, module. Basically, uh, it verifies uh, the calibration uh, code. Uh, after that, it compiles it and uh, performs the flashing uh, over the TNC port. So after the, the flashing of the calibration code, the calibration task begins. So at the end of the calibration task, uh, my node, uh, my node uh, makes a, a calibration file and uh, extract from that file the final calibration values, which uh, always my node uh, will write uh, over uh, the final TNC firmware uh, where uh, is located also all the necessary staff uh, to perform the connection to the uh, ROS uh, core on the up board and uh, enable the communication through topic uh, publishing and subscribing. So basically, I use uh, I use the Roslib uh, Arduino Arduino libraries over the Tinsy port. So uh, the first thing uh, to do is to run uh, the the node here on the up board. I already run the Ros core. The first thing. Uh, is the validation and, uh, and the compiling of the TNC firmware for the calibration. Uh, the TNC has a lot of problem uh, with the serial communication, so uh, I prevent them uh, uh, running uh, the validation and com compiling uh, tasks as you can see here. So, uh, the first step is the compiling and the verification of the firmware for the calibration. After that uh, is performed the flashing over the TINSI. And uh, immediately after the flashing, uh, uh, it's performed the calibration uh, routine of the AIMU module, which uh, can take uh, some minutes. As you can see here, uh, the calibration is still going on. Uh, I stopped the video because it takes uh, a while. After the calibration uh, is performed, uh, the making of the calibration file uh, from where uh, are extracted uh, the final calibration values uh, of the IMU module, uh, which will be wrote, uh, which will be write uh, on the final uh, uh, Roslib firmware for the TLC. The calibration is still going on. It uh, could take about uh, five minutes, I think. So, and everything is performed automatically without uh, the interaction of the user. So, when the node runs, uh, everything is performed uh, automatically. I think that we are uh, close to the end of the calibration here. Yes. Here's the calibration values. Now uh, the Roslib firmware is being compiled. So there's uh, the verification of the code. Uh, so just wait uh, a bit. 
of course if there will be problems with the flashing uh, it will start automatically from the validation of the of the firmware Yes, there's a problem uh, to communicate with the Tinsy, but uh, the procedure uh, is start again to flash the Roslip firmware over uh, the Tinsy. Hopefully this time uh, it will flash the firmware. On the upboard, uh, the things are really slow, so we just uh, have to wait. Yes, the firmware has been flashed. So the the task of the auto calibration node is finished. Now uh, I can uh, run. Uh, I can run uh, uh, a simple launch file. Uh, to be sure that the MIU is working, uh, I'm looking uh, within the history. Yes, here email message, IMU message test connecting. Yes, it's connected. So maybe if we are lucky, we can uh, see. On RQT, the topic of the IMU changing here. Yes, it's it's receiving. Uh, yeah, if I move, uh, it works. I move it, and the values uh, are changing. So basically, uh, this is how this node works. That's all.